Hey, welcome to my channel. This is my second tutorial and um, there is a few things you're gonna want to do. First, you're gonna need a computer and a laptop or a laptop. I, in my case, I use a laptop to extract the game, well, patch the game, and then transfer it over to FileZilla. So if you don't have a computer or a laptop to transfer it, over to FileZilla or patch the game, but just a Steam Deck. This tutorial isn't really for you because I don't know how to do that. I don't even think it's possible actually. But yeah, this tutorial is for those who already patched the game using a computer or a laptop and transfer it over using FileZilla or a USB. So that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is get your Project Nobody May Cry folder. In my case, I have it on my SD card. You're gonna need to find a file called PCSX2.exe. Next, you will need to find the file musicgui.exe file. Next, you will open up Steam and press add a game and add non-steam game. Press browse. Then find the location of the exe files. In my case, it's on my SD card. And make sure it's the PCSX2 exe file. Now we're going to add the music GUI EXE file. Also make sure it's music GUI EXE file. And press open and add selected programs. Now the location of the two files in desktop mode is going to be in uncategorized which you can find when you scroll all the way down but if you're on gaming mode you're gonna need to go to non-steam games and find PCSX2 and Music GUI. Then add it to one of your collections. In my case, I have it on desktop games. After you find PCSX2 EXE, go into the properties, click compatibility and Proton Experimental. Then run the emulator. Press the controller icon and make sure you add all these settings, the exact settings. Alt key as L4 and enter key as R4, basically the back buttons. This step is very important if you want to play on gaming mode. Then go into PCSX2 and choose your Nobody May Cry ISO. If you click browse you'll be able to find the location of your ISO file. In my case I have it with my SD card and MU deck with the rest of my PlayStation 2 ROMs and make sure it has a little dot. Next you're gonna have to go to config and game settings and basically copy all of these settings and I mean all of them if you want perfect performance or not perfect but you know, good performance. Also, these aren't the settings that I use for my Nobody May Cry on Steam Deck Showcase, but these are updated settings. And it does work a lot more better than the settings shown in that video, so definitely go check that video out. I'll leave it in the description. Then you're gonna go into system, make sure enable pine is checked, and enable cheats is checked. Okay, so this is the important part. You're gonna go into config and graphic settings. Make sure it's Falcon and the native is 720p. Make sure GPU palette conversion is unchecked as well. Now we're going into config, then gamepad settings. 
Now for me, this already hooked up onto my Steam Deck, but the one thing you need to change is the dead sound, because when I tried hooking up with my Xbox, it was not moving, like barely, so yeah, make sure the dead zone is above one point, I think zero, 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 I have it on screen. Next you will add a hotfix patch for Nobody May Cry. This one's very simple and easy. All you have to do is go into your folder for PCSX2, go into the cheats, then replace the file which I'll show on screen right now. I already replaced it so there was no need for me to replace the file again. Also I was recording this at night and then this part of the video is going to be turned off. Now you're going to want to boot up your ISO. And this is how the game looks like on desktop mode. Now me, I prefer to play on gaming mode, which we'll get to in a minute. But now we're going to use the music GUI application. The music GUI application should be on uncategorized when you scroll all the way down. And once you find it, Make sure you go into the settings and use Proton Experimental, which I'll show on screen in a couple seconds. You can also adjust the music volume. Now we're going to go into gaming mode. Okay, as soon as you boot up the application, what you want to do is press the ALT key once, then enter key twice. Now if you do this, the emulator will go into system, then boot ISO. Now you will have to wait a few seconds, but I decided to speed it up just like in desktop mode. Before we add the music to the game, head on over to Music GUI, then click the controller icon. And make sure your right trackpad is set to mouse, then left mouse click. That way so you can change your music volume. And yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. I try to keep it simple and quick. Please let me know if I miss anything important. I'm sure I haven't. I probably did. I have no idea. But uh, yeah. You could tell that I'm tired. My voice is just, nah, it's not it. But um, yeah, please like and subscribe.